Hello everyone, it's Marilyn here. I have a new video tutorial to share with all of you. I made this shabby chic mixed media beige theme layout using the August limited edition kit by my creative scrapbook that is featuring the Saint Tropez collection by Prima Marketing. And I think it is perfect for this beachy page. Let's get started. I trace my photo on the paper. I choose this paper that has this wave pattern. And I decided to create uh, like a dimension with uh, the paper. So I'm using my craft knife to cut along the waves. I am cutting the same design uh, that the paper has. But I, I, I will cut uh, three lines in these sides of the paper. You will see now. I hope it makes sense what I'm trying to explain you. I change the craft knife. This one cut better than the other. And now that I have this uh, side, you can see here three lines. I will try to do the same in the other side of the paper, but I'm, I'm going to cut one wave lower than the other. And I will do the same. I will cut three uh, uh, wave shapes in this side too. Now I'm going to cut the other side again because I, I, I'm trying to create like waves on the background. But this time I will cut from here, a little lower than the right side. And I'm going to cut um, from the center of the paper to the border. And I will do the same, three lines. One, two. And three. Once I have all these lines, uh, I will uh, distress all all the uh, slips or all the waves using my distress tool. Now I'm going to adhere a piece of white cardstock uh, behind my page here and here in the other side. Uh, this will create uh, the effect like the foam on the waves. So that is the reason that I choose a white cardstock instead of uh, blue or other color. And at the same time, it will look um, soft and delicate. That is uh, the reason uh, to create uh, this page, a uh, very delicate beach page. I adhere my photo to a white uh, cardstock, the same that I use on the back. And now I cut around to create the mat. Okay, this is the cheesecloth that comes in the kit and I cut a piece of this cheese of the cheesecloth and I'm using the chalkboard paint by Prima. I'm I don't want to uh, <laughs> I want clean hands now so I just uh, put a little of the paint and I spray water to the cheesecloth at inside of the back uh, or the plastic uh, bag and now I'm uh, push the cheesecloth to paint everything inside the paint and my hands are pretty much uh, clean. Now I use the heat uh, tool to dry the cheesecloth. Once I have this cheesecloth ready, I uh, give like a shape over the paper and make marks with the pencil. Now I apply the same chalkboard paint with a paintbrush around all this mark on the paper. As you see, it was hard not to paint my hands. <laughs> okay, I try to blend uh, very well the chalkboard paint on the background and now I dry it. Now I'm going to add, uh, add a texture and I'm using the stencil from the kit with modeling paste and I apply uh, the modeling paste with a spatula. I am playing with the stencil to create the, you know, when the waves crash 
on the shore, the foam and the different direction that it takes with something you see that it looks a little weird now because I am play I am uh, I place in different direction the shapes of the stencil but it's because I am looking for this effect and I hope it makes sense you will see soon uh, how uh, everything looks at the end but I'm trying to recreate uh, that effect with this stencil and once I think I have enough stencil uh, texture I'm going to dry everything now with my heat tool okay now to create the hill the foam effect that create the the waves I, I am adding a white paint splatter over all this area now I place the cheese cloth but um, I changed my mind and I'm going to smooth the blue colors on the background so I am applying gesso with a sponge over all the blue paint I just need to smooth the blue so I apply a thin coat, coat of gesso okay now I'm happy how it looks because it looks um, soft everything now so I am I'm going to adhere uh, the cheesecloth I just apply gel medium with my paint brush in some area and adhere the cheesecloth to the background now I use the same sponge with gesso and apply to the jute that comes in the kit I don't I made two loops with the jute and I apply gesso over okay now I'm going to place the jute on my paper and the photo and once I have all these elements, I will add the flowers from the kit. I want to create some dimensions, so I, I'm going to place some flowers behind the waves. Here, I think it will add some interest to the page. These are the metal trinkets and I'm going to adhere in three uh, different in a triangle uh, design. These are the shipboards from the kit and now that I am happy how everything looks I will start to adhere all the pieces to the paper. First the jute and then the photo that I add I already add a piece of cardstock to uh, the cardboard to add uh, dimension to the photo. These are the umbrella shoe board that we, I'm going to adhere to this corner here between all these beautiful flowers by Prima. Other thing is that I don't, I changed the trinket that was uh, in the top of the umbrella and put uh, behind uh, under my photo and added uh, this butterfly to adhere the metal trinket I recommend you to use gel medium or a stronger adhesive I'm not use the hot glue because it can uh, remove you can't remove easily so I, I prefer to use gel medium and I'm, I'm continuing adhering all the different elements 
Now I'm going to adhere the title. This is a die cut and I adhere on the back a 3D foam tape to create some dimension and I place it here the summer. Now I want to add more texture and I'm adding art, uh, art stone with gel medium. I will apply the art stone with my pen brush. I first take a, a liter of gel medium with a pen brush and pick up the art stone and put it on, on the paper. And with the same uh, paint brush, I uh, sp spread the art stones in over the cheesecloth. And I will continue doing this around all the flowers and over the cheesecloth. I add some white sequins now to uh, simulate the foam, uh, the white foam, and I've adhered this sequence with the glass liquid randomly around all this area. It will give a nice uh, touch to the page. These sequins are from a previous uh, kit. That is the good thing about the, my creative kits. You have enough. Uh, product. Now I'm adding some uh, blue paint splatter to give a little of colors and with the same paint that, with the same blue that if you look is similar to my photo I will uh, add this paint around the photo and around all of the flowers to create depth and like uh, blend the photo in the background and this blue gives a nice touch to the page. I love how it looks. It looks like the oceans on the back. I don't know, it's a mix. And after this, I will add some pearls that I'm going to add here with gel medium. And I think that I'm done with my page today. You will see now the closer fo uh, photos and I hope that you find that you like it and you can see here how uh, delicate it looks i love the final result i hope that you find some inspirations today in this video tutorial let me know what do you think and don't forget that in the description box down below you will find the link to get this kit and to my blog and my social media and i hope to see you soon with other video tutorial don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i see you soon bye bye